The Boeing X-20 Dinosaur was a U.S. Air Force spaceplane that was intended for a variety of military missions. The plan was to use the dinosaur for aerial reconnaissance, bombing, space rescue, satellite maintenance and as a space interceptor that could engage enemy satellites. The dinosaur program was based on concepts developed in Germany during World War II. German scientists had designed a rocket-powered bomber that would be able to attack New York City from bases in Germany. It would then land on Japanese bases in the Pacific Ocean. The bomber was never produced, and later it was found that the aircraft would have melted from heating issues, if it ever would have been tested. After the war, German scientists working in the U.S. shared their knowledge of the project, and research was made on rocket-powered vehicles. After the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1 in October 1957, the U.S. Air Force initiated the Dinosaur Project, also known as Weapon System 464L. Existing boost glide proposals were joined to a single vehicle, which was intended to act as a successor to the X-15 research program. Plans were made for the production of three versions of the Dinosaur. The Dinosaur 1 was intended as a research vehicle. Dinosaur 2 was intended as a reconnaissance version, and Dinosaur 3 was to add strategic bombing capability. The first glide tests were planned for 1963, and powered tests would follow. It was expected that the Dinosaur would be able to reach Mach 18. The fully operational Dinosaur 3 was expected to enter service in 1974. In 1961, the Titan III rocket was chosen as the launch vehicle. Launches were intended to be made from Cape Canaveral in Florida. Several design versions of the Dinosaur were considered. The designs were all for a single pilot. Seven astronauts were selected for the program, including Neil Armstrong and Pete Knight. Flight tests of subsystems were made in 1963, using an NF-101B Voodoo. There were two major problems with the X-20 project. The booster to be used to send the aircraft into orbit was problematic, and there was also a lack of a clear goal of the project. It was also incredibly expensive, and in December 1963 the project was cancelled, just after construction of the spacecraft had begun. The X-20 Dinosaur was only completed as a mock-up, and although a working spacecraft was never produced, much of the research made for the project was used for the construction of the space shuttle, and the later Boeing X-40 and X-B-37.